After a $90,000 payment, hungry anonymous judges, judges, they're judges, uh, they're dining here in Houston. They're hungry like the wolf, okay? They sure are. To find restaurants worthy of the Michelin Guide. Yes, the Michelin yes. Guide lists some of the best restaurants in the entire world. Now, Marcelino Benito explains why a tire company is behind this elite list. Why does a tire company rank some of the best restaurants in the world? You've probably heard of Michelin star restaurants. They are often some of the most high-end, elite places to get a bite to eat. And if you're asking yourself right now if we're saying Michelin restaurant reviews are done by the same company that makes Michelin tires, yes, that's exactly what we're saying. So how did this all get started? At the turn of the last century, two brothers in France started a tire company. It was right at the dawn of the automobile, and the brothers wanted people to drive more so they would buy more tires. In 1900, they released the first Michelin Guide, which told people where to buy gas, get car repairs, and where to get a bite to eat. As more people hit the road, the guide took off. By the late 20s, CNN reports the restaurant recommendations in the guidebook became so essential, the Michelin brothers started hiring undercover reviewers and a ranking system evolved. Now restaurants are reviewed by a strict set of measures, with one star indicating a quality restaurant and two stars meaning a chef that offers something extra special. According to the company, two stars indicates it's worth a detour. Meanwhile, three stars means it is worthy of being a destination all on its own. And you might want to burn rubber to get there. With the Y, I'm Marcelino Benito.